Hey everybody, I am back here with another video. This is my latest haul from Super Tarts. I just got the box in, it's Saturday. So the box just got here today. And uh, this was from the customer favorites restock. I think it was like the one year anniversary. So she had, I'm trying to remember, so forgive me if I give out some misinformation, but I believe that she you know, had everybody vote on the sense that they wanted to come back and then people voted. And then you're able to order and like she normally does with her orders, you can order as much if you want of any scent. So it's kind of unlimited, you know, in the sense that she offers for that opening. And I really, I wasn't going to order initially. And then I started looking at the scent list and there were a couple in there I really liked. So this is actually, there's not many scents in this order because I ordered multiples. I think of everything that I got. I just really wanted to stock up on some of my favorites. There's a couple other of her scents that I absolutely love. One of them is Go To Sleep. That one is like a sweet lavender cream and pink sugar. That one I actually ordered in a custom um, like super petal or super bag. And I haven't got that yet, but I will be getting that because I really do like that scent. And then the other scent that I got in the super bag, I don't exactly remember if it was offered in this in this round or not. But anyway, so I just wanted to stock up on the rest of the ones that I really liked. Here is the business card. Probably one of the most um, colorful, like vibrant business cards out of any of the wax vendors out there. And she has, you know, her son's drawings on there, which I think is really, really cute. The other thing I like about this order is Brandy has kind of been, um, I think perfecting, you know, like the, the labels and things like that. So I think from watching her Facebook group, she said that she is now going to have like standard labels for every single scent, um, et cetera. So yes, if I look at this, everything is labeled beautifully. They all are, you know, distinctive and cute and perfect for that particular scent name and everything. So hopefully if this like stays like that, then it would be very recognizable. You know, when you're getting that scent, it, that was what the label is gonna look like. And it's pretty good branding. Okay, so the in getting into the order here, I did get one sample here and a little sparkly gingerbread guy. And this one is in caramel vanilla pound cake. It smells amazing. Just such a perfect homey warm bakery scent. I absolutely love it. Nice and strong on the caramel. I know some people hate caramel, but I absolutely adore that one. Okay, so getting into it here, I'm going to actually get into the frozen two packs. So she had two, two packs. One of them was a frozen theme and the other one was a transformer thing that you could get. So I opted for the frozen one just because the, um, the scent sounded a little bit more my speed. So this first one here is Elsa and of course it is blue. It's got the snowflake, of course, for Elsa. This one here is cotton candy ice cream and it is also a dual color tart this one is so good i love the smell of ice cream in tart form it, you know and, and blended with a cotton candy it it doesn't smell exactly like when you walk into an ice cream shop because the ice cream is like blended well with the cotton candy so you can smell the cotton candy fairly strongly in there but you can still get that ice cream scent and you can also get that very sweet cotton candy scent that one is sweet, 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 but it is a winner. And this next one here is Anna. And I think that these colors are the colors that her dress was in uh, the movie for Frozen. I think this kind of looks like her. And this one is in Sugar Cookie Marshmallow. And Brandy's got a really good sugar cookie scent. Oh, that is so good. If there's one thing that can make sugar cookie even better, it's a little bit of marshmallow. And this one is just really, really nice. And her sugar cookie is also pretty strong. When I've melted it, it performs pretty darn well. Okay, so getting into it here. This first one here is uh, is based off of the TV show Game of Thrones, which I've actually never watched. And this one is White Walkers. And I feel kind of stupid because since I've never watched Game of Thrones, when I saw the name White Walkers, for, I just thought of The Walking Dead because they call you know the zombies walkers. Although they've never used the term White Walkers in The Walking Dead. I, that's what I thought it was. So I got this and I was like, oh, it's from Game of Thrones. Like, yeah, I'm kind of stupid. This one is one of her best sellers. I think it seems to be pretty popular. It's Spearmint, Peppermint, Fresh Mint Leaf, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Oh, that one is so, so relaxing. Just like a super sweet minty cookie scent. Really, really good. You can definitely get the vanilla bean well in there, you know, which is more of like a vanilla bakery kind of scent. But it's got all those wonderful mint scents in there. That one is really good. She did offer that one in a scrub, I think, during her last opening, and I was going to get it. 
And then I held back at the last moment, but that would be pretty good on a scrub. Okay, this next one here is one of the spa blends and one of her more recent opening, and this one is Jaws. Love the label. I, I love the color blue. I think it just works really good. Oh, how cute. I didn't even look at the bottom. There's like blood on the bottom of these. This is the attention to detail that I absolutely love from vendors. You know, because um, it's just so fun when you find something unexpected. Like, I would never expect to look at the bottom of a clamshell and see something like this in there. And the fact that that's there, it, it's... That's just really good. That's awesome. And that's one of the things I love about Super Tarts. Okay, so that is what it looks like there. This one is, once again, it's Jaws. This is Sea Salt, Fresh Air, Sea Grass, Sliced Plum, and Sweet Pear. And it does smell amazing. You can get the salty sea air scent. You can get that nice, like, fruity, but dark kind of fruity plum scent in here. It just smells really, really good. This is a really good spa blend. I have melted this one before, and it did pretty well for me. In terms of performance, if I recall correctly. Now, this is not like my all-time favorite spa blend, but it is a good spa blend. So, I definitely will melt that. Now, this next one here is such a bright, fruity scent. Passion fruit nectarine. This is just passion fruit nectarine. Bottom notes of lemon zest, mango, sweet apple, and plumeria. This one is really more of like a scent that reminds me of summer, obviously. But, oh, this is just so... So good. I actually think that nectarine is my favorite scent, um, that, or favorite scent I can find in wax, and you don't find it very much. But when you do find a good nectarine scent, it is just so juicy, you know, a little sweet. It's really, 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 really good. Passion fruit, I'm not exactly sure what that smells like. I think I'm also smelling the mango. It's a nice, like, more, it's a nice fruit scent, slightly tropical, but it doesn't have, like, a coconut. There's no pineapple, but you do get that mango in there. But this one, if you guys like fruits, I know I've said it a million times, if you guys like fruit scents, I would highly recommend checking out that Passion Fruit Nectarine from, um, Super Tarts. Okay, this next one here is Raspberry Peach Sangria, and this one is Sweet Raspberries, Georgia Peaches, and a Crisp Chardonnay. And this one here has got some glittery stuff on the top. Let me give this one a sniff. This one is also really good. You can get the raspberry. It's a little bit more tart than that passion fruit nect nectarine. It's a little, bit, a little bit more tart overall. But you can also get the peach. And you can kind of just get that. It's not effervescent. But I think I can detect like that fruity wine scent in here a little bit. It could be my imagination because obviously there's other fruits in here and everything, but that one is really good. Okay, this next one. Now, I don't know why I got two of these because looking at it, this just does not look like my kind of scent. Uh, lavender Orange Dream. Sweet lavender mixed with our orange sherbet. But I obviously ordered it for a reason, but for the life of me, I don't know why I did. Just because um, I, I guess I was on a lavender kick when I did place closer to the time that I placed this order. That might have been why I did it. Either that or I've melted this one before and liked it. Now I like it. I, I like it. Um, it. Yeah, definitely is a sweet lavender. And you can smell that orange sherbet. Definitely kind of has that sherbet -y, you know, cotton, or not cotton candy, sherbet ice cream, kind of like sweet creamy scent. It's good. It's a really, it's a nice, it's a nice blend of the two. I would say like in the mood that I'm in right now, that's not something that particularly appeals to me. So when I did go through my package, I was like, this is weird. Either that or I ordered the wrong thing. Um, I'm wondering like if I meant to hit something else on my, you know, on the drop down and I screwed that up. That might have been the other thing too, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, nope. Yeah, that's on my invoice. That is exactly what I ordered. So Brandy was 100% correct in sending me that. That might have been my screw up. Now this next one here is Fake and Bake. And this one is one of her, it's one of the blends I think that she came out with, like, um, closer to when she opened. So this one here is zucchini bread, sugar cookie, and then sweet cream. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's just, oh, I love sweet zucchini bread scents. This one is not overly sweet. You can still kind of detect more of that straight zucchini bread, like more bread type of scent rather than like a super sweet 
the zucchini bread scent, but it's just got enough of that hint of sweetness that that's just, that's a really, really good one. Okay, the next one that I got here was eucalyptus vanilla spearmint, which is fairly self-explanatory, fresh eucalyptus, sweet vanilla, fresh spearmint. Kind of no surprise there, but um, let me smell this one. Oh, just so refreshing. So, so nice. I really do like spearmint um, in scents, but I like it when it's overpowered by other stuff because spearmint on its own tends to just smell like a dentist's office, but there's enough eucalyptus in there. I think that eucalyptus is a dominant scent that it kind of, it just, I don't know, it just kind of makes it really nice and enjoyable. I mean, I love eucalyptus spearmint. Spearmint dominant scents are just not really my thing. And then the last one here is iceberry tea. And I remember this iceberry tea pretty fondly. There was one time, it must have been four months ago or something, I was melting a lot of like heavy bakery scents and all these like really like sugar cookie pound cake, like one after the other. And I, I just was like, man, like I need something different. I need to mix it up. Like I'm sick of these bakery scents. And I reached for this iceberry tea. So this one is Vanilla Bean Noel, Sweet Berry, and White Tea. And this one had just enough of just like a crisp scent to kind of clear my nose and clear my head push those super thick bakery scents out, and it was just a refreshing change. And I just have such a good memory of this iceberry tea. And it is a really good fragrance as well. And I love that little strawberry um, imprint, I guess, in here. It is so good. Now, there is Vanilla Bean Noel in here, which is a bakery type of scent, but that um, the tea scent in here is is nice and strong. And then the fruit scent in here is really nice and strong too. So this one is just refreshing. It's kind of like if you need a change of pace from the normal stuff you've been melting and you just need something like, I don't know. It's just, it's just really good. It's a good change of pace. Absolutely great scent. And I love it. So you guys, that's it. That's a fairly quick haul done in about 12 minutes. But as I told you, I didn't really have a wide variety of scents, just multiples and a couple select scents that I really wanted to stock up on. Um, I'm, I did manage to place a small order during the, the, uh, Black Friday restock Although there was one or two cents I was gunning for that I did not get because I didn't even hit up the, the sale until well after she had opened and she had set a limit of how many that she was going to um, produce of each type of, or of each cent. So I missed out on a couple of my favorites, but I think I did manage to place a small order. And then I still have my custom super bags or super petals or I think they're bags um, coming here hopefully within the, in the next month. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I will catch you on the next video. Bye.